<laughs> well, I suppose it's my turn now to tell a story. You've heard a lot about me from the Mighty Heroes stories. Yes, I'm Mephilus, the one who caused trauma to your loving characters Sonic and Amy. But hey, Amy's sister is what got me turned into a good guy, right? <laughs> Wrong. You see, you may think I suddenly turned good, and you merely think that I was a villain. The true villains were... Them. Once upon a time, yes, such a cliche opening, there was once a god called Solaris. Mephilus, come on, man. We already know about Solaris. Have you played Sonic? You were in Sonic 06, you dumbo. Did I say you can interrupt? <laughs> but they probably already- Shut it. This is different. How is this different? This is a Sonic 06 again, you know what I'm saying? I'm sorry, Mephilus. I just like to throw shit at you. Anyway, before I was so rudely interrupted... Actually, I'm not sorry. What are you looking at, fool? <sighs> we'll talk about him later and why he's here. Now, there was once a god called Solaris. Spoiler alert, I was Solaris, except the difference is Solaris consisted of two gods. Me and, uh, you know who. So yes, we got split apart by those evil scientists, whom I once thought I could never forgive, but in the end, things happen for a reason, I suppose, Amy says with her mushy talks. Ugh. After the events of splitting with you know who, and going through the events of trying to trick these two idiotic hedgehogs. I mean, you're right, but hey! Silence! <clears throat> yes. We managed to reunite once again, and become whole by murdering Sonic. Oh, that was fun. But yes, we don't talk about how he got resurrected as we're not counting it in this universe. We'll just say he woke up. You can't just do that! You gotta give a better reason! Well, I can't say Amy kissed him. They weren't even dating. Sheesh. Um, power of friendship, or whatever you call that crap. So yes. Sonic is suddenly alive and is supersonic. He turns his buddies into super hedgies too. <laughs> super hedgies? <laughs> wow, you are so lame. Oh, that's a good one. Right, we get it. They beat us. Woo, the heroes won. La -di -da 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 -da. Then, boom, the whole thing never happened. Right? In fact, it did happen. You all thought that the timeline never happened. Instead, everyone's memories were just simply removed, as that was the only way to recover the whole planet, as we did a pretty great job demolishing it in one go, if I do say so myself. All right, now I know what you're thinking. Mephilus, why are you telling us a story that we already know? Well, it's important to my character development. Solaris may have been defeated, but only one god was left to live. Me. My other half is now gone. All I wanted was to be at peace as a whole with... them. But those scientists took it away from us. We never asked to be split apart, so can you blame me for what I did? They took away everything I had, my whole identity, I had to start all over again as a god trapped using Shadow's shadow. <laughs> yes, ironic, haha, <laughs> funny. As my body. I did adjust to it and made it look more original. I do say the crystals make me look fancy. I was alone. I was no longer combined with light. I was just darkness hidden away among shadows. Unbalanced, full of Solaris's negative energy. I wanted nothing but revenge on this cruel world. I wanted revenge on the Mobians. So, I decided to start terrorizing kingdoms, destroying what the people looked up to. One by one, each kingdom fell apart, 
except these two stubborn kingdoms that were led by an alliance between the two kings, King Arthur and King Jules. Yes, basically Sonic and Amy's parents. I placed a dark curse upon them during the war, which of course affected their children. Arthur. <sighs> I still can't stand that name. He provided me with a deal to make peace among us. He says that I shall have a wife, his eldest daughter, Anella, who was created through science using his blood. The light of his life, he called her, and I can see why. The moment I first laid eyes on her, I guess you could say those mushy love at first sight things can happen for a god like me. I wanted her, so I agreed to the deal. She could be the key to finally fill this dark void within me, the void that was left from them. Turns out, the deal was nothing more than a con. He really did try to make a fool out of me, which, yes, pissed me off quite furiously, but that's not what did it. It was what he did to her. Anella turned out to be made to seal me, but she refused to do it. Instead, she lost control of her powers, and so Arthur, her own father, sent her away while both Jules and his brother Charles watched. He had the nerve to look me in the eye and tell me that she was dead. The one thing that could have saved me, once again taken away from me by scientists. So then I locked them up. Arthur and his wife. Just like they did to my wife. Except the difference is, back then, I actually still thought she was dead. Until then, one day, that blue hedgehog once again returns. Sonic. He releases Arthur and his wife because it turns out they had another daughter. Amy, who is married to Sonic. Sonic, why didn't I think of getting revenge on him? He was the one who destroyed me as Solaris again along with his buddies. So I decided it's time to give him what he deserved. I messed with Sonic for quite a bit, controlled his mind and caused him to turn dark because of his dark curse passed down from his parents. I wanted to torture him. Though because of that, Amy managed to defeat me and seal me away in that pink emerald which was tossed away into the ocean. Until one day, it was found and I was released yet again. I returned and decided to try and haunt Amy, mess with her head about other women taking Sonic away from her as she was very insecure back then. <laughs> I even caused her to turn into Dark Amy and attack Breezy during a ball. Yes, Dark Amy does exist in this universe, and my, it was indeed something. Till yet again, Sonic spoils the fun and drains her dark energy out of her. Instead, more of that dark energy came into him. Remember that dark curse I mentioned? Yeah, pretty much that's what it is. Sonic basically took it out of her because he's a little However, it made the dark curse inside of him much harder to bear, and I started to haunt his mind again, which was so much more fun seeing him try to fight it off, but he just simply couldn't get rid of me. <laughs> Although I was restricted from having complete control because Dark Guy had returned due to some disturbance those peeving mortals caused. So I needed something to trigger Sonic more, to release his dark energy so I could gain much more control. Therefore, I decided to team up with that vexing Breezy. She seemed to have wanted to cause pain and misery to Sonic as well, except she thought we were going to murder Amy. <laughs> no, of course not. I wouldn't be that cruel. Instead, I just murdered his Uncle Chuck. Now, I know what you're thinking, but why Uncle Chuck? Well, remember when I said that he was there on that day that Anoa got taken away and he did nothing about it? Not only was it to affect Sonic, but it was for revenge too. 
Even better when Sonic himself witnessed the crime just after with his little sidekick Tails. The horror in his eyes and his sinister growls showed truly how much he hated me that day. He actually nearly caused me to bleed with his savage attacks. But instead, he was framed for murder for his uncle. How unfortunate. <laughs> <laughs> so yes, they were actually sent to court for a while to solve the case behind the murder. It was amusing to see how distraught Sonic and his friends were. Even Amy was expecting, and somehow Silver was Sonic's lawyer Objection! and ended up winning the case for him. But we don't talk about that. Hey, I was a great lawyer. I was like, uh, what's her name? Uh, Elle Woods, yeah. You underestimated me, but I turned out to be the greatest lawyer out there. Are you done? Normally I wouldn't be done here, but for the sake of the recording time, yes, please don't blast me again. Thank you. Back to where we were. Finally, Sonic released more of his dark energy, and I was able to control him. We were practically sharing bodies. It was so much easier to get him to simply turn dark and do anything within my power. I could just easily kill the guy, but... Last time it didn't do me any favors, so I decided to play around with him instead. Caused him to nearly ruin his marriage with Amy, his friendship with Silver and Shadow. It was so much fun seeing how much it affected this pathetic blue hedgehog with how much he cared for these mortals. I even managed to haunt his own son for a little while as well. Except once again, Sonic decided to drain the dark energy out of him. He was filled with glorious dark energy, to the point I had more and more control. And then, Dark Gaia was finally defeated. <laughs> What's the matter, Sonic? No Gaia to keep your powers from me anymore? You, you're not really here. You're- Yes, your darling wife slipped out what's happening in your head. That doesn't make me any less real. I'm not going to listen to you. I'm not a puppet. You see, that's where you're wrong, Sonic. You are a puppet. You're my puppet. You're just a puppet with ears. For now. For now? Did you honestly think that with all that dark energy you've taken, all of my energy you've taken from your family, it wouldn't give me any power over you? The dark form that runs in your family belongs to me. Taking it out of them is so predictably noble of you. But it's making you easier to control too, Sonic. Do you not realize how many of your actions lately have been mine? What? What, what are you talking about? The pointless arguments with your wife, the outrageous anger outbursts towards your friends. I was the one who drove you to do all that. And you simply took it as commands from a voice in your head. But if, if that's why, I can't even separate my thoughts from yours. Exactly. <laughs> who knows what I might make you do next. You... I won't let you... I won't let you have power over me again. I'd like to see you try and stop me now. You're becoming weaker to my power now that Dark Eye's <laughs> grip on you is gone. And soon, you won't be able to stop me. <sighs> Leave me alone. truly was mesmerizing. I was able to get him to turn dark more and more with simple triggers like jealousy. Like one night at the ball, where Silver accidentally slips into his wife and boom, triggered easily. Silver thought he could make it up to him, but instead he had to deal with me. I was so close to killing Silver, 
but I did spare him for personal reasons. Aren't you going to tell Wait me? Wait for that. I will get to it. Because of how much I was messing with Sonic, Amy really wanted to kill me. And I do mean kill me. She attempted to do it a few times, but it led to more and more arguments between the two, as Sonic didn't agree with her behavior because they're the good guys, duh. One day, Sonic and Amy visit Amy's parents, and finally I see Arthur in the flesh through Sonic's eyes. Oh, how much I wanted to kill that man. I was so close to triggering Sonic to just charge at him. Till then, she came. Anella, she's alive. She was standing by her father, the one who told me she was dead. I, I, I didn't have words. I didn't know what to say or how to process any of this. I vanished from Sonic's body. You all right? I'm fine. The moment I laid eyes upon her again, everything changed. I no longer had the desire to control Sonic. I decided to finally leave him for good. Instead, I worked with these amateurs who called themselves villains. They were known as the Mobians. I needed something to distract me from thinking of her, as I know she would want nothing to do with me. But instead, these fools decided to kidnap Anella with her sister Amy. I grabbed Fiona's neck and threatened her for involving her. Amy witnessed the situation, and of course I gained one of her mushy hero to villain convert talks. You're having a go at us for not defending ourselves? You know, that's quite odd for the villain who's killed my husband's uncle. Locked up my family and everything. You could even kill me right now, but something's stopping you. <sighs> Nothing's stopping me. I could do it right now. Then why don't you? You could get revenge on Arthur that way since he did take away something you loved, didn't he? I should have known your husband would tell you about the things he's seen. He's my husband. We tell each other everything. That's the point of a relationship. It's called love. And I think you've heard of that before. <laughs> Despite you may have done a lot of bad things to my family, I know somewhere inside of you, there's actually a heart. You cared for my sister. We both know that and I know why you were so mad at my family for what happened to her. But revenge isn't the right way to do this. You can't keep taking this out on our entire family. Sonic did nothing to you. I don't care if it's because he's Jules' son. He did nothing! Sonic, his uncle Chuck, even my own mother had no idea of this. The only one here to blame is my father. I'm not saying go kill him, but what I'm saying is this isn't the right way. Please, you can never understand why I was so mad at your family, his family. Nobody knows the pain and anguish I have suffered. And vengeance is the only way I can achieve peace from the things that he has done to me. Do you love Anella? Of course I do. I'm not oblivious to my emotions like the rest of you. I'll ask you again. Do you love Anella? Repeating the question doesn't change the answer. Then listen to me. If you really love her, then you would stop this. She doesn't want this. Anella just wants to live a happy life, but she can't if you're going to keep wanting revenge on our family. That way, my father is going to continue keeping her locked up in that castle. This isn't helping her! Why do you think I've been trying to stay away from her? <sighs> from all of you! That's why I left your husband in the first place! She can never have a happy life around someone who's tried to destroy her family countless times! Methless. Why did you do all those things to Sonic then? Why did you do this to him? You... you controlled him. 
You haunted him. You killed his uncle. Why did you do that? They were both there that day, Jules and Charles. They both stood there and let him drag her away. Jules supported the decision to get rid of her too. But you didn't have to do that to Sonic! Someone who wanted them stuck there and let them take her away! Do you know how much you made him suffer? You... you took it all out on him! You can't bring people back from the dead, Mephless! And Nella's still here, and I'm glad she is, but... You took away someone dear to Sonic! Someone who wish I could have given you a chance! But he couldn't! Because he had to follow our father's orders! Because I thought they killed her! You and I share one thing in common, and that is love for your sister. And because we have that in common, I suppose it would be a conflict of interest to continue my attacks on both you and Sonic. Killing either of you wouldn't do me any good now that I know that she's alive. It's come to my attention that you two are the only reason she is living a normal life now. If she has a normal life, I intend to keep it that way. I... I want you to be a part of it. I can't. Yes, you can. She needs you too. What makes you think that? Because I know one day she wishes to have a family of her own. I couldn't be with her. I'm not a Mobian. I am an entity of darkness. This is just a form I hold to walk among the people here. I think she rather has her shadow than a Prince Charming. She won't want something that attacked her family. But maybe, if you told her how you felt all along, she'll understand. Tell her why you did it. Just tell her. She needs to know. She should know. I... will attempt to speak with her. So at last, a real deal was made between me and Amy the youngest daughter of Arthur, to finally put an end to his war for the sake of Anella. I was hesitant to trust her, but she definitely was different from her father. On that very day, I reunited with my one true love, Anella. For the first time in my life, I was happy. I was complete again. I instantly asked for her hand and she agreed. She was finally mine my other half, though it was not happily ever after, not yet at least. It took quite some time for everyone around us to get used to me. As you know, I did murder a lot of people and caused a lot of trauma, but hey, can you blame me? I had my reasons. I was shocked with how easy it was for Amy to accept me into the family. While it did take Sonic some time, and I cannot blame him, we had too many awkward glances and conversations. He wouldn't dare look me in the eye for a while, and it got to the point I started to <sighs> feel guilt for what I did to him. Eventually, Sonic started to accept the new circumstances for the sake of his wife and Anella, and I guess you could say we started getting along. He even started to give me lessons on how to be civil and how to be good. Ugh, it was disgusting, but I guess it's payback for what I did to him. Whenever we visited for Anella to see her sister, I guess the kids also warmed up to me. I started hearing... Uncle Mephilus, Uncle Mephilus, which was very weird to adjust to. I guess I also warmed up to them, and I made it my duty to ensure their safety during difficult times. Not because I owed Sonic and Amy, I... I started to care. Slowly, I realized I started to gain... feelings. Feelings for these mutant mortals. I was being converted, me, a god. 
I now cared for these people who were once my enemies. It's a good thing the other god is now gone. They would have laughed in my face. After time had passed and a lot of convincing from Anella herself, we decided to have a baby. Anella was pregnant with our first child. Arthur was not pleased, of course, and wanted to ruin everything for me as always. He expected her to get rid of the baby, which of course was absurd. We cut contact from her father till after our daughter's birth. Till then, Arthur has decided to reach out and invite us over for dinner. You hear that? <laughs> dinner. After wanting Anella to practically murder our own child, he wants dinner? I wanted to deny the request, but Anella wanted us to try to fix the past. So I decided to go for her. And of course, she decided to also invite Sonic and Amy. Oh, what a lovely, passive-aggressive time we had at the dinner table. We both badly wanted to kill each other. We just know it. Till suddenly, Arthur collapsed from his chair and... died? Now I know what you're thinking. Mephilus, how could you kill Arthur after redeeming yourself? Now, now, it wasn't me. I was framed. Arthur was poisoned from his drink, and to no surprise, Amy first accused me of doing it. I was actually just as shocked as the rest of them. I had no idea the guy was going to die. Yeah, I wanted to kill him, but obviously I couldn't now that I made amends. So we had an ongoing murder investigation of who killed the king and all that crap. Yay! The suspects were the scientists that worked with Arthur creating Anella. Of course, none of them was the murderer. We eventually had to drop the case because we couldn't find out who it was. Until one day, Amy finally found out. It was during a time when they went in some magical cave, I don't know. Amy basically saw illusions of her father's killer, Shade the Echidna. Who is Shade, you may ask? Don't know, don't care. All I know is, she was hired by Dr. Starline, who, in fact, was one of the scientists who worked for Arthur. To this day, both of them surprisingly haven't been arrested, but we do keep track of them, and someday, I guess revenge, or justice, you mortals call it, will be served. So even more time has gone by. People were still getting used to me, holding grudges. Basically, I'm used to it. I don't care if people don't like me. Specifically, Silver and Shadow took longer to adjust to the concept that I am now a good guy. I held a grudge for these two as well. They both defeated me along with Sonic. I do think Silver actually hated me the most until he found out the truth. All this time, Silver thought that I murdered his parents. In fact, it was the other half of Solaris that did. Silver was, thankfully, not seen by the other god and managed to escape. He doesn't really remember much, but I actually took care of Silver as a child. Now, why would I do that? Well, here's the plot twist. He's actually my descendant. I know what you're thinking. How is he my descendant? Well, he's 200 years in the future, so one of my great-great-great-grandkids will have given birth to him, and I loathe them for that. Excuse me? I'm a blessing! Anyway, I took care of him. And then I left once I saw he met a girl, that purple cat or whatever you call her. Please! Thank you. You're welcome. Now, yes, I did return and manipulated him into trying to kill Sonic. He surprisingly didn't recognize me. You left when I was a child! <sighs> I suppose you do have a point. It was for the best that he couldn't remember. But yes, Silver did warm up to me, now realizing the truth. Though I do wish he warmed up without having to find out who I am, somewhat his adopted father and great-great-great-great-great-grandfather. I'd still give you a chance. Eventually. Uh-huh. Anyway, Shadow's still currently warming up to me. He's stubborn. I despise him a lot for denying my hand and joining my side to go against the world. I knew what it was like to be in his shoes. 
have everything taken from him by these mortals, and he calls himself the ultimate life form? <laughs> what a joke. At least his brother gets along with me quite well. Eclipse. Though he is a nuisance, it's the first time someone likes me for who I am and not judge me for my past. Now on to the present day. Here we are in Soliana with two beautiful children, Bella and Harmony. We recently moved back here after our second, well, first actual wedding. We decided to renew our vows to have our family around this time. Wow. <laughs> family. Never thought I would say that. It took me some time to get used to Soliana again, but Anella adores this place, so I eventually gave in. This place holds a lot of memories of my past, especially, especially the time you had a drunk. We thing. don't talk about that. <clears throat> it still isn't happily ever after yet, but for now, I guess I can say it's a lot better than how it used to be. The end. I'm not clapping. Don't don't make me fucking do that. I'm not clapping for you. Go find some sound effects. Hey guys, we're planning to go on vacation and What's with the chair and and the book and why Silver sat like a child with his legs crossed? <sighs> right. We'll pack our things. Silver, you can go now. Thanks for the story time, Ephelis. I'm gonna go home now. I'm gonna get some Tib Hortons. Hey Blaze, you want some Tib Hortons? <laughs> Telling the story of your past? I guess you can say that. You've changed, Mephilus. It's time to let it go and move on. Ugh, don't touch me. What? I'm just saying. <laughs> See you at the airport then, bro. See you, bro. <laughs>